Heathrow's operators used to be called BAA, short for British Airports Authority, but they've been told to cede control of so many UK airports, Gatwick, Edinburgh, and most recently Stansted, they've decided to call themselves simply Heathrow. In this slimmed-down form, can the group haul itself back into profit? In the first half of this year, it made a pre-tax loss of nearly $110 million. Its net debt grew to $17.7 billion, and the interest paid on the debt was $600 million. The group is not increasing revenue from passengers fast enough to outpace the interest charges. Over time, passenger numbers at Heathrow and many other airports tend to grow at about 2.5% a year, roughly in line uh, with growth in real GDP. Heathrow has to hope that that kind of growth continues in the future and indeed speeds up. That would be the route back to profit for it. But how can Heathrow ramp up activity at the airport? At peak times, planes land here once every 45 seconds. It's already operating at the limits of its capacity. Heathrow's directors want to build a third runway, but the UK government has deferred a decision on this contentious issue until after the next election. In the meantime, Heathrow's rival neighbouring airports like City, Gatwick and Birmingham have all been offering their plans to the government on how they can take the future increase in air traffic, which Heathrow seemingly will be unable to handle. But Heathrow does hope that it can expand its capacity a little bit more. Heathrow Group's grand plan is to reconfigure the airport's layout so that its terminals are lined up neatly, sitting at right angles to the runways. This would make more efficient and profitable use of the space available, but the rebuild would require yet another huge chunk of borrowing from Heathrow's creditors. Jeremy Howell, BBC News.